bad, not bad, Valentina. You're gonna look fab on stage. Oh my goodness, a standing ovation. Thank you so, so much. Mom, Dad, Everett! What the fuck? No, 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 no please! No, no, no. Shut up or I'm going to shoot. Dio Tarzioni. Oh, please. Please, you're going to let me talk. Please, can we talk? What do you want from us? We'll do exactly what you say. Just don't kill my brother. You. We wanted something from you. So to save my brother, who so unbelievably stupidly lost millions to the Mafia, I gave them what they want from me. They want me to marry their Mafia boss, their capo, today. Watch out! What's more unlucky? seeing your bride's wedding dress before the ceremony, or having your enemy's blood on her face minutes before the wedding. What? Close your eyes, cover your ears. You can open your eyes now, Brad. No, Benny. Push it down with a matrimonial. He said you look fine. Now, come on. We got a wedding to attend. Seriously? We're still going ahead with the wedding? <laughs> Why the heck not? Alexandra Romano, do you take Valentina Smith to be your wedded wife, to cherish in love and in friendship and strength? and in weakness. Love you. I do. Valentina Smith, do you take Alexandra Romano to be your wedded husband? To love him, to take her only to him, as long as you shall live. I do. And I will pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait, wait, wait. Is he really gonna kiss me? Why is my heart beating so fast? Am I attracted to him? This cold-blooded murderer? What the fuck is wrong with me? Tina, don't let him kiss you. Don't. Agreement? Like, a contract? We, we speak English. Agreement has more buying power than the city ceremony. Totally there with you. I realized that the whole marriage of Prime God thing was kinda so silly. Mm -hmm. The agreement. Sure, let's You can read it if you want. It's in English. Number one, code of silence. Neither party shall rat out any members of the mafia. Number two, obedience to the boss. Number three, mafia assistance. Number four, avenging family attacks. All attacks on families must go avenged. An attack on one is an attack on all. Number five, avoid authorities and family interference. Family, what, I can't contact my family? No. It doesn't make any sense. You just told me how important family is to you all. But what about my family? Once you marry a Romano, that's all the family that you have. I've done everything you guys have asked for. Please. Say it. Well, we will go back to kill your family. Making sure you never see your family again, huh?
Uh, step one, done. Step one? Sandro and I have businesses to take care. Angelo will give you a tour of your nice new home. And dear, don't fret. You will learn to love all of this. Learn to love what? Human trafficking? Killing people like slaughtering sheep? No, never. Bring yourself to control a little question. What did he say? He said, uh, give it time. There's really a lot to love. Um, come on, show you. So this is a temporary place, so it's a little crowded. We have a real castle in Italy. This is Christine. She's our head maid, and you can trust her. Mrs. Romano, rule number one of Mr. Romano's bedroom, do not open the curtains. Never. Why? What's behind there? Blood-covered walls? Mountains of dead bodies? It's the only window in the room. I saw brains on the sidewalk today already. What can be worse? I'm serious, Mrs. Romano. This is couple's order. Do not ever disobey the couple. It's for your own good. Listen, why don't you just take a bath and have a good night? Good night, bride. Wait, can you stay? I've had such a day and you're the only one that talks to me. Is he coming back tonight? I don't know. No one ever knows what Alessandro's up to. Tell you what, in the morning I'll take you to the garden. You promise? I promise. Good night. It's easy to say. What possibly could be worse than what I've seen? Why is he hiding this? It's gorgeous. It's okay, Christine. I'll close in a moment. I just need. Did Christine not tell you my rule? She did. Did Christine not tell you my rule? She did, but it's the only window. It's beautiful out there. Why would your rule be... Wait, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll close it. I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm sorry I opened your precious curtain. I must be the crazy one. You're hurting me, Alessandro! Hey, wait, hey, what's this? Hey! You disobey me, I punish you. I'm getting detention because I opened a curtain in my bedroom? You married me today! For what it's worth, I miss Romano! Do I not have any right in this house? Open the fucking door! It's been a whole day since he left me in here. No food, no water, no one came. I bet he's waiting for me to plead his forgiveness. No, never. It's me. Are you okay, Mom? You look awful. This is from Don Angelo. He's been trying to free you, ma'am. Tina, not ma'am, just Tina. <laughs> I heard Capo say that he will let you out tomorrow. So hang in there. Tina. Thank you, Christine. I won't back down. What do you have to say for yourself? Are you afraid of the daylight? the curtain a symbol of something you must hide behind? 
You're ashamed of what you've done, who you are. You know what, Alessandro? I feel sorry for you. Go to jail. I'm already there. I know I look terrible, but isn't this what you want? You want to torture and mold me into the perfect obedient wife for the macho mafia boss? We can stop trying, because that's never going to happen. You already robbed me of having a normal life. I'm not going to give in to anything else. You can leave me here to rot. The second I get out, I'm going to open that fucking curtain. You got that, capo? Why are you not afraid of me? You know I could kill you at any moment. If you wanted to kill me, I'd be dead long ago. There must be a reason you and Antonio want me here. You need me as a wife, at least for now. Am I right? Put me down, I can walk on my own. Daisita. Daisita. Shut up, right? Jeez, it's my first Italian word. Are you laughing at me? Oh my god, wake up, Tina. He locked you in a room for two days. Just because he has pretty lips and strong arms and he's carrying you like Prince Charming, all you can think now is he's just so hot. God, what the hell is wrong with me? I'm sorry I reacted. I'm not a normal person. Oh shit, you're not. Normal people don't kill people. Normal people want sunlight. Normal people have feelings. You don't. Alright. Yeah, I don't. It's just the way I was taught. Maybe you were never treated normally, and that's why you treat me the same way. Or maybe you're angry at me because your uncle forced you to marry. But I'm not your punching bag. I never will be. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can use this room to open the curtains whenever you want. It's easy. I deserve to live a life in the shadows, but you don't have to. Do you want to get out of this life to be a normal person? Do you want to get out of this life? Be a normal person? I don't know about once. This is my life. I used to dream about a small house with a loving husband. I know that dream will never come true now, but at least I have this. This is my medal, my trophy. It's proof I will never, ever surrender. Play the music. My hands hold symphony behind you. Hands hold symphony. Come on. What are you staring at me? Why are you here? Turn around. You can turn around now. Listen, this never happened. Take off your coat. What? Take off your coat. It's mine. I will give it back to you when I can. You have a million other coats. There's no reason you need this one now. Ah! What the actual fuck? This is why I asked for my coat back. Fine, fine. Just I thought you were not afraid of anything. This is not me afraid. This is... This is me completely losing it. I don't fucking know what's happening. I'm practically naked. There's a human finger between us. But God damn it, he smells so good. 
You can keep it. Oh my fucking god, why are you back again? Move. Huh? Sleep. Sleep? As in, he's gonna sleep? Or did he mean I should sleep too? In the same bed? How? Is this the time? Valentina, your first time? Okay, so nothing's happened. When he said sleep, he meant sleep. Jeez, I never realized how big the bed is until we're both on it. Wait, what am I doing? Am I crazy? You want to, uh... Nothing. Just uh, don't fall off the bed. Here we have a photo. Just not the male. Non posso. Christine? Is that you? Morning, Mrs. Romero. Just giving you a friendly heads up. You have 14 days left to live? What? Christine, Christine! Someone gave me this. The color's not natural. Someone took the time to make this for you. They do what? They want to give me a nice flower before they kill me? It could be the Scarpelli Mafia. You remember your wedding day? It's them. They're after me? I've never even heard of them. I've been good. The worst crime I ever did was flunking a couple of classes. I haven't look done anything me. to them. I only have 14 days look to live. Look at me. <sighs> hey, look at me. Look at me and listen. You're not going to die. I'm gonna protect you, okay? I would lay my life on the line before anybody takes yours. You worry too much, dear. It's probably just a death threat. Just Mr. Alessandro and Mr. Angelo, they receive those every other day. And that's supposed to make me feel better. I'll protect you, Tina. You believe me, right? He's a nice one, isn't he? <sighs> oh, well, not what, what? Pajamas see-through? Fuck me. Tell me, Christine, how did you survive this, getting death threats every other day of life? How does anyone survive that? By not fearing. Winning every battle, every ambush. And then you know your enemy's threat are empty. But how? Any second, a bullet could come through the gates, the doors, the window. How do you not fear? How does one become so unfeeling, almost immune to basic emotion? How do you do it? He's not that unfeeling, dear. He just know to tell himself not to feel. He's the capo after all. The Romano family moved to the U.S. a few months ago, running from their arch enemy, the Scarpellis. 
Antonio made the decision to move us here to avoid further conflict. Because Alessandro killed their couple's wife. Why? Why did he kill the wife? They killed Alessandro's mother, and that caused his father to kill himself. When was that? When he became the new couple. He was only nine. Any funeral is hard to handle, let alone your own parents. Since then, Uncle Antonio became the contender to the couple's seat and the only parent figure young Alessandro has left. I remember Alessandro, povero bambino. He was crying so hard, his eyes were red, his cheeks were so red. And Uncle Antonio said, stop. He said, tutti i tuoi seguaci ti stanno guardando. Gli assassini non piangono. I perdenti lo fanno. What does that mean? All your followers are watching you, couple. Assassins don't cry. Losers do. Alessandro? Young couple found a little sapling on Mr. and Mrs. Romano's grave. I helped him plant it. And then he would come here every day and water it by himself. But I never saw him cry ever again. You ask why he seems so unfeeling? You can thank Antonio for that. So what you're telling me is Antonio actually calls the shots. He made Alessandro marry me, right? Listen, Tina, do you want to get out of here? Out of this life? Can I? I don't even know why Antonio wanted to trap me here in the first place. I miss my family. I don't know why they brought you here either, but the only person that can help you escape is Angelo. Another agreement. It's all in Italian. Between Antonio Romero, Vita, Vita, Vince Capello, Valentina Smith. Wait, why am I on here? Tina, what are you doing here? Um, just getting to know the place before I get killed. You know, my last days is Valentina Smith. I mean, Valentina Romero. I promised I would protect you. Christine told me everything. I'm gonna get you out of here. Why are you helping me? You know you'd be disobeying your couple, right? <laughs> 